Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today, well, we have a bottle out of sequence because this Highland Park Seagord is no longer available. It's gone for years now, two or three years, and uh, it's 43% ABV. When it was sold, it was sold well above 100 euros, dollars, pounds. And uh, it carries no age statement, and therefore it's quite expensive. But it was a collector's series, and uh, this series was called the Warrior series, and they were named by, well, old Viking warriors. Oh, yeah, and this one was Sigurd, and he was uh, famous for his big sword. Boy! heavy so it's a two-hand sword <laughs> and as well this uh, oak box is really really heavy and uh, unfortunately the bottle leaked and put some uh, schmutz here on the label and uh, so I lost a little bit of this and uh, it was unsellable therefore Sigurd, one of the most feared Viking earls from the Orkneying saga, the strong and courageous. Sigurd possessed a warrior's instinct as razor sharp as the sword he always carried by his side. People today <laughs> had to be arrested for brutality. Sigurd dominated large areas of Scotland, sweeping past all that crossed him. A, a killer. Like many of the weapons carried by wealthy and successful Viking leaders, his sword was intricately engraved, showing the finest levels of craftsmanship. Sigurd's courage was never forgotten, and his name lives on across the many lands that he successfully ruled for death or for glory. Yeah. Tasting notes, appearance, autumnal gold, clear and bright. Yes, it's kind of amber. Nose, fresh hay bells, mango, golden syrup, sponge, caramelized pineapple, and a fragrant smokiness. Smoki smokiness, yes, part of the Highland Park whiskies have a distinct smoky note. Yeah. Palette, sweet lemon peel, spicy cinnamon bark, very good, oaky woodiness, and a hint of lavender. Yeah, hopefully not. Finish spicy smokiness with lingering dusty wood notes. Wonderful piece. A map of the Orkneys. <clears throat> and, well, the bottle leaked because the stopper wasn't glued exactly to the cork. And there are a few whiskey videos, explaining videos, uh, on whiskey.com in our information section, that's the yellow uh, section, uh, where I describe why uh, corks are breaking in a bottle, how to open it, uh, how to take out the cork of a bottle, which is, uh, well, where the, the cork is damaged, and here it's quite easy to take it out. Yes, yeah, some smokiness already on the cork very few but there is some <clears throat> now we put that cork in and here we go yeah the first is not those hay bells no the first is smokiness, decent, sweet, medium sweet smokiness, no hospital, no phenolic, it's just smokiness, fantastic, smokiness, sorry, no, uh, not this bonfire, not this medicinal smoke, it's just a wonderful aromatic smoke, just as it had to be, uh, with a level of, say, 10 ppm, not more. 
And below that there is, well, this caramelized, not pineapple, but some fruit. And the sweetness moves over to two riper fruits. So you see it by the color. That's a no eight statement whiskey. It's not colored. Highland Park does not color whiskey. And there had to be some sherry casks put into that whiskey. And those uh, sherry casks bring those oxidized fruit. A little sweetness appearing. This caramelized fruitiness. Yeah, and the smokiness vanishes a little bit, just stays as complexity in the back. Mm -hmm. This lemon peel, little zestiness. Then there's sharp spiciness, probably this cinnamon bark. There's the smell of cinnamon is not, not there, not really. Probably a little bit, but it might be influenced by the taste. And thankfully no lavender. There is some tale about <laughs> lavender in the whiskey with a French war perfume note. And uh, I don't like that, but uh, it was a lie then uh, when it was appearing. Uh, but this one is far away from lavender. The aftertaste is wonderful, mouth feel, no bitterness. This is a no age statement whiskey, so not too old, uh, but mouth filling. The spiciness is all, already there from the casks. Wonderful mouthfeel. I like it. No drop to spare. Uh, sorry, a few drams are gone already uh, due to a leaking cork. Uh, but therefore this bottle is now mine, my personal bottle. And I have the feeling as if you see this bottle again here on my cask, probably. Mm. So this one had been the last one, <clears throat> sorry, the last one for today. And uh, I did the right choice to take this uh, slightly smoky whiskey as the last one. Wonderful mouthfeel. Intense, 43%, not too strong. So it's easy, easy sipping, lingering. Wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. As always, there's more to come.